everyone welcome back girlies to another video it is your girl destian okay period and as you can tell by the title of today's video we're gonna be doing entrepreneur live girl so i just got my package in the mail i don't have all the pieces um i don't have all the pieces but i ordered some little baggies to put the lip glosses in they are so cute they have hearts on them and I got pink and red. And then I ordered some pigments. I ordered some pigments um, from TKB Trading. And these are the names if y'all are interested. So we have this Be My Valentine pink and then we got this Pick Pocket pink and it has like glitter in it i'm also gonna do a red and a clear with um hearts in it that's going to be the valentine's day lip glosses um but i'm starting with these two and maybe the red today don't really know about the red yet but i'm just gonna go ahead and start making lip glosses so i did go ahead and wash these so i need to dry them off and I need to put gloves on and wipe down this table that I'm gonna start on. So let's do all that and then we'll get into it, okay? So these are what I make my lip glosses in because if I have a little extra, I can store them away. So before I even start, let me put on my mask. So y'all, I'm kind of ready, not all the way. Um, I'm just missing my oils and a spoon to mix with. But I use TKB Trident Gel. I always get the big ones. Um, I'm not to the point where I can get, where I have to get a big jar yet. So, yeah, maybe one day. So this is just how much I have in here right now. Um, not that much because I don't like to overdo it and then people don't even order that lip gloss, you know what I mean? So, just take it a little bit at a time. Don't try to do too much, don't try to overdo it. Key for me, okay? So, so I like to use wooden sticks when mixing, mixing my lip gloss. Like the spoons, they like get stuck in the little hoop of the spoons and it's just a lot. <laughs> whatever oil you want to. This is coconut oil. Which can make your lip gloss thin. So if their lip gloss is sticky when you put it on your lips, it's because they are not adding enough oil to make it thinner but that may be how they like to make their lip gloss. Um, me, I like for my lip gloss to go on real smoothly and to hydrate. So I like a lot of oils in mine. So I made both glosses. Um, I made the pink um, glitter one. And then I made the pink one 
and it has a gold tint to it and it's like a clear with a gold tint it's really pretty um make sure y'all check my website so y'all can see it i'm going to continue this video because i do have other things coming for valentine's day i want to put little hearts into one of the glosses make it real cute and fun um but a little tips from me i'm not a big um business owner i don't i wouldn't say i'm big um because i haven't really been consistent consistent with my brand but i do trust tkb trading base gel if you do need a base gel and you don't know where to look or what to find sorry my hands are ashy on <laughs> them gloves um that's a good base gel i've been using that since i started uh, a lot of people love that base gel for me and how i make my consistency um like i said earlier the more gloss i mean the more oil that you put into your lip gloss uh, especially coconut oil it's going to thin it thin it out um making it smoother a smoother apply and it's going to keep hydration if you have purchased from someone and their lip gloss is thick and it's like sticking together when you talk or sticking together when you have it on your lips sorry about that beeping noise in the back that's my ipad they blowing up the group chat okay but <laughs> if your lip gloss sticks to sticks together it's not a good lip gloss for you it's really not doing anything but sitting on your lips literally it's not hydrating your lips it's not keeping your lips um hydrated throughout the day if you use my lip glosses i'm saying mine not to just promote myself because i am promoting myself but um because i haven't tried anyone else lip glosses i don't use anyone else lip glosses from now on for the rest of my time being child i don't use nobody lip gloss i use my own lip gloss because i know what i put in it a lot of people are putting chemicals in their lip glosses and making them what they should not be um so if you're still buying that beauty supply lip gloss for a dollar or whatever it is for it's not healthy for your lips at all <laughs> okay it's not healthy healthy for your lips it's not doing anything for your lips but just sitting there that's why y'all apply it so much because it don't do nothing for y'all lips it just sit there <laughs> um so yeah i would recommend my brand as always y'all make sure y'all shop addition to perfection llc.com okay get you some lip gloss that's gonna actually hydrate your lips and our that's gonna actually hydrate your lips that's made with love as always i make all my lip gloss with love and it's here to help your lips okay help them so yeah This is basically my setup. I have all my cleaning supplies is over here in this corner. This is my new bags that I'm gonna show y'all. I have my tubes that are already cleaned and everything in these Ziploc bags. Uh, these are glosses that I already made. This is a gloss. This is a clear gloss that I'm gonna make with these little heart things. Um, I have my wooden sticks and my gloves. So, just to give y'all a little more information about how I do my lip gloss. Um, I don't like to use spoons when making my lip gloss. I like to use wooden sticks because it just makes it smoother than a spoon would. Um, gloves it really don't matter what gloves you wear as long as you have have a barrier between your skin and the lip gloss 
Um, I also like to put on hand sanitizer before I put on my gloves, regardless of if I just wash my hands or not. Um, because it's just too much going on with the COVID and Omar, Omarion and everything else. So, and then the glosses that I have already made that y'all will see, that y'all see me make, this is how they look tubed up already. So this is the My Valentine's on my website right now. And this is Be Mine on my website right now. So y'all can check my website out if you're interested in these glosses. But let's get into making the clear gloss with the hearts infused in a scent. So as always, like I said, I like to use containers because whatever gloss I have left over, I can just put it in here. And then we're good to go. So you guys, this is a, one of my mistake tubes. Um, when you try to use a syringe, when you try to use a syringe and you just try to put it in there and stuff all the um, lip gloss in, it will not go all the way to the bottom. You'll have to wait until it goes all the way to the bottom. That's why I like to use these. These are the things that you know people use for liquids, but I like to cut this off and cut a little bit of this off and just have this part so it can be longer on top of the syringe and it can go deeper into my squeeze tube. So that's just a tip for any of my girls that's starting lip gloss and you don't know how to put, put your lip gloss into tubes, that's a great way. But if you do it this way, you'll just have to wait because it it will go down eventually, but you'll just have to wait until it go down. Okay, you guys, so this is how the lip glosses came out. I made a one and a squeeze tube. I think I like the squeeze tube better because like the hearts are all over and the one tube is just at the bottom and then right here at the top. But I did not have like a scent that I would like in these, but they're cute. They're cute. I'm really happy that I did this because I was a little scared. Not gonna lie, because I never actually like put anything other than rose petals in my lip glosses. So, this is cute. So, that is how I did those lip glosses along with the other ones that I made and I showed y'all those already. Um, so, for I told you I was going to go in depth on some things like my website and other things that I trust and I use. So for lip gloss base, I trust and I use TKB Trading Lip Gloss Base. Um, it's never done anything wrong for me. Uh, I know a lot of people use other people's bases, but I just don't know about theirs, but I've been using TKB. I've been using TKB since I actually started my business. So I just trust their base already. I already trust their base, so that's the base that I use. I also use them for my pigments, um, as y'all seen in the last one. When I told y'all, I use them for my pigments. And then for my labels, because I don't do the custom squeeze tubes because my business is not that big yet, I use Avery.com. And I just put my logo into a small little frame like this so that it can fit on my tubes. And make sure your, lab your label is transparent in the background. So when you print it onto a label, it'll be clear and it'll like go in with 
easier too. But if y'all want a video on how to do your labels from A3.com, y'all let me know and I will make one for y'all. Because I know it's a lot of old ones out there, but we need to update it. It's 2022. We're trying to get our business started, so up update us, okay? So I don't know if y'all can see all that well, but this is just my iPad that I'm on right now. And what I'm gonna go to is, it's already popping up, look at that. If y'all didn't know, I do have a sale for Valentine's Day. It's 25% off sale. You get a traditional gloss, which is all my already custom glosses that I've been having since I first relaunched. So this is them, they're listed. And then I have my Valentine's Day glosses that you can get as well, only for $12. Here is the pictures of those glosses. But the website that I use to make my to make my website is Wix.com. So this is Wix. This is the editor view. So this is my view for my website. I think I pay a hundred and something a month for my website or a year for my website um, to keep it up and running. So right here is the view of my website. This is me going in and you know, changing the background, changing pictures, changing names, putting up new sales and new pictures. So this is basically the editor view if you were to make a website and how you would edit it. Um, over here is just how you go to the different pages of your website not this but this is how you go to the different pages of your website so i have a about page i have a cosmetics which is all my lip glosses i have a lash page which is all my lashes Lashes. <laughs> and then I have a jewelry page, um, B Day Special, which is the Valentine's Day special right now. Um, this is just this page showing the glosses. And I have to fix, you know, as you can see, this is not a Valentine's Day gloss, but it's being seen on the page. So you can go in here and you can edit different collections to be seen on your page and what not to be seen on certain page pages. And then I have a customer speak. And this is just my customers and what they have said about my business. So that is just my site. You don't have to make your site like mine. You can make your site however you want. It do give you the option to see it out of editor view. So basically you'll see it as if the customer is looking at it. But this is just my website. And this is what I use. This is what I've been using since I had my website um it's wix.com so that is it you guys thank you guys for tuning in i hope i gave y'all a little insight on you know lip gloss businesses and you know how things go i hope i gave you an insight on where to start for your website where to start for your labels it's okay to start small you don't have to do everything straight off bat perfect you don't have to always go extreme when you're just trying to see how things are going to go for you like I said in the other clips, my business is still a small business. Um, I really don't get a lot of customers. I haven't been consistent, but it's 2022. It's time to be consistent with your brand, girl. I hope and I pray that everything that you want, want this year happens for you exactly how you want it or exactly how God wants it to happen for you. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to this entrepreneurial life i hope you guys come back 
if you have any questions or if you want to see anything into detail girl make sure you go ahead and comment those down below and i'll be more than welcome to make the video for you guys also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if this is your first time and this is your first time ever seeing me okay that's it that's all you guys i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see y'all in my next one